All right, and this time around starts the evolution. Ooh. This is my 2013 Dodge Avenger equipped with a 2.4 liter 4 cylinder naturally aspirated motor along with a 4 speed transmission. On the pursuit for power and prepping for boost, this plastic intake manifold has to go. Mommy. With doing quite a bit of research, found out that Dodge uses the 2.4 liter world motor which happens to be the same motor as the one that you would find in a Mitsubishi Evo X. Which made me start thinking, what can I use from an Evo that would work on an Avenger? And sure enough, we found this. Secondhand use, I found a 2008-2013 Mitsubishi Evo X intake manifold. Okay, and then we got that. And that. Holy shit, this thing's heavy. Yeah, it's awful. <laughs> it says awful. More engine bay room for no reason. Oh, look at that. What's this? Leaves in here? Oh, awesome. We're doing five. Alrighty, so currently, everything looks like it bolts on just fine. I'm super excited. Uh, I have, I, I feel like nothing else can really knock it on wood. Knock it on wood. Um, <laughs> Uh, we should be in the clear pretty much, right? Yeah. All right, cool. So right now, we do have the intake manifold chilling right here on the ground. Uh, it looks like literally all we're needing is either just one shorter bolt to hold the uh, intake manifold and a couple of either thicker ones for the throttle body or just some bolts because it looks like the bolts that come stock actually go through the other end and you can just literally just squeeze it right through. So we're going to find out, but every day it looks awesome. Fuel rate fuel rail lines up perfect so i'm excited due to no one locally carrying any gaskets for the intake manifold we took it upon ourselves just to make our own uh, you know how the rotor is called the winkle yeah i was thinking about getting a license plate for the miata that says w uh, whacking off <laughs> <laughs> winking like off Wanking uh, off or wanker? Wanker, yes. So Anthony, we're using something that uh, extends engine life. This, this is Desert Octane Engineering right here. We've made a sensor that was loosey goosey, and we made a fit. Yeah, look at this. We just got a little. Now it's too tight. Yeah, that's it, man. There it is. Oh, look at that. Nice like lube. We're not gonna tell you what this is or where we got it because we're gonna sell it for like 130 bucks. Yeah, that's what that's we put. So it's uh, a sensor adapter. There we go. Sensor adapter. That probably cost 30 cents. <laughs> Isn't that the mechanical game though? Ask them how this stuff works out, and they're like, "Oh yeah, it works just like actual gasket." I mean, the concept of it is just to have some type of material in between. Yeah. Right? yeah it's just enough material to compress against it. I mean, there are some that have like wire mesh in them. Yeah. But other than that, it's just a point of contact. Okay, I see the bolt that was screwed. Oil leak? 
Give me horsepower sweat? Since it lost pressure, should I get a gas before I actually crank it? Um, just turn your key to the on position and then off and then on and then start it. Okay, okay test one. Okay, off. One more time. Um, hold on, where's the dipstick? Uh, okay. it's on the dash. One more time. Start it. <laughs> 